Hello, this is Father Frank Pavone, National Director of Priests for Life, with pro-life thoughts from the readings of the 29th Sunday of Year C. Today's readings are not only focused on the efficacy of prayer, but more specifically on the efficacy of prayer amidst battle and conflict. In the first reading, it is a battle for the very survival of God's people against fierce enemies. In the Gospel, it is a legal battle for justice. The connection with the pro-life movement is clear on both the theme of prayer and conflict. In the Gospel of Life, St. John Paul II wrote, quote, It is possible to speak in a certain sense of a war of the powerful against the weak, a life which would require greater acceptance, love, and care is considered useless or held to be an intolerable burden and is therefore rejected in one way or another. A person who, because of illness, handicap, or more simply, just by existing, compromises the well-being or lifestyle of those who are more favored, tends to be looked upon as an enemy to be resisted or eliminated. In this way, a kind of conspiracy against life is unleashed. This conspiracy involves not only individuals in their personal, family, or group relationships, but goes far beyond to the point of damaging and distorting, at the international level, relations between peoples and states. End of quote. The efforts of those who build a culture of life must be sustained by prayer, but not limited to prayer. Moses' hands sustained in prayer were essential to victory, but the Israelites also had to fight. Likewise, we must pray for an end to abortion, but we must also speak, organize, lobby, vote, protest, and intervene. In both the first reading and the gospel, the themes of justice, deliverance, and securing rights make for a particular application to the unborn and the vulnerable. In the light of these readings, we invite you to join in the daily prayer campaign to end abortion as found at prayercampaign.org. Friends, for insights into the pro-life meaning of the readings of the entire year, go to preachingonabortion.com, where you can also order my book, Proclaiming the Message of Life. God bless you.